Hi everybody, Bunny Berry here. 100 day raw food challenge. Whole food. And I am at my sister-in-law's house in Atlanta. Um, we're dog sitting. We have a whole pack of dogs here. <laughs> There's two little Manchester Terriers and then Sky and Gizmo. And it's, yeah, four medium sized dogs. They pretty much rule the, rule the roost. Um, I thank you guys so much for being so thoughtful and going through these exercises. I know that we haven't started really talking about food, <laughs> um, but I really feel like it's important for us to understand our relationship with, um, with our life before we can really change, successfully and permanently change our relationship with our food. So what we're doing is really working on that primary food, those primary food topics, things like our relationships, our spiritual practice, our exercise and our body image. Um, and, then, and then we'll move into like, you know, how to get the best macro and micronutrients. So today's exercise is actually, to me, for me, this is the hardest, hardest exercise. Um, today, we're going to talk about limiting paradigms. And basically, what I'm talking about is like, what is holding you back from doing whatever it is you want to do? We're all here on a raw food site. Um, I know a lot of people want to lose weight. I know that a lot of people want to be healthier um, and achieve optimum wellness. And for some reason, there's something that might be holding you back. So, and we say things to ourselves that, that help to limit us. So, um, today I want you to work on these, um, these perceptions that we have of ourselves and um, what we might be able to do to stop being so critical and limiting and figuring out exactly where, where, what those hot spots are in our, um, in our limiting, in our limiting paradigm. So, you know, if you could write down, um, a list of how you limit yourself and then the hardest part of it okay so I limit myself by by you know let's see what I what I wrote down by um, by wasting time or by spending money on now kind of things instead of investment kind of things or um, eating crap and not exercising those are ways that I limit myself from reaching my fullest potential. And so, you know, you can make a list of those and oh, oh, how much fun that is. But the real crux of this exercise and where you're going to really start to see your patterns unfold is in the second part of it. What you're going to do is then ask yourself, what do you I what do I say to myself that um makes that makes it okay? You know, what do I say to myself? What limiting things do I say to myself that really are the reason, my self-talk, the reason that I let those things happen? For example, you know, we all say, oh, I'm too tired, or I don't have the money for that. Um, I don't have time. Oh, everybody, nobody has time to exercise, right? Nobody has time for winky. Um... No, I don't have enough money and, you know, I don't want to exercise until I'm thinner. I'm too fat to exercise um, or I don't want to go on that vacation until I lose 40 pounds or I don't want to go shopping until I've lost 20 pounds. And what that end up, what ends up doing is it ends up limiting what we are allowing ourselves to do today, you know. So think about you know, how you limit yourself and then write down what you say to yourself, what your internal dialogue is that supports that self-limiting behavior. Because once you figure out what that is, 
then you can turn those sentences around and realize that a lot of the limitations that you have and a lot of the self-confidence issues that you might have are actually coming right from you. So this is a tough exercise. Um, you guys are doing great. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're going to be goal setting soon. I promise. It's just really important to work through all of these steps so that you can focus in on the one thing in your life that you really need to work on. And then we can set goals around that. And the, the only way to do that is to know thyself. So um, have a great night. I'll see you guys again tomorrow and eat your veggies.